What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Monday, November 27th, 2017, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeartRadio.com. Com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. British actor Jude Law is in talks to co-star with Brie Larson and Captain Marvel. The Hollywood Reporter said Friday that it is unclear what role the young Pope and Fantastic Beast, the Crimes of Grindelwald actor, is up for in Captain Marvel. Variety described the part as the male lead, but also said it had no further details about who he is. Marvel declined to comment on the possible negotiations with Law to both entertainment industry trade newspapers. To be directed by Anna Bolden and Ryan Fleck, the 1990 set movie will star Larson as the titular superheroine, while Samuel L. Jackson will reprise his Marvel Cinematic Universe character of Nick Fury, and Ben Mendelsohn is to play the film's villain. Captain Marvel is scheduled for theatrical release on March 8, 2019. Colin Trevorrow posted on Twitter the first footage for Fallen Kingdom, the sequel to his dinosaur adventure Jurassic World. Trevorrow retweeted Friday from our Jurassic family to yours at Film Bayona, at Pratt Pratt Pratt, at Bryce D. Howard, at Led Doctor, hashtag Fallen Kingdom. The brief clip shows Chris Pratt reprising his role of Owen Brady and smiling as he pets a tiny dinosaur that appears to be purring. Co-starring Bryce da- Dallas Howard, B.D. Wong, and James Cromwell, the film is being directed by J.A. Bayona from a screenplay Trevor O. Penn with Derek Connolly. Trevor O. also serves as a producer. Fallen Kingdom is set to uh, f- for a theatrical release on June 22nd. Trevor O. directed Jurassic World, which was a huge blockbuster in 2015. Warner Bros. has ordered a Harley Quinn animated series that will debut on the company's upcoming DC Comics brand streaming service. Warner Bros. has ordered 26 half-hour episodes of the series that comes from Powerless Executive Producers Justin Happernan, Patrick Schumacher, and Dean Lorre, Deadline reported. Actress Margot Robbie, who brought Harley Quinn to life on the big screen in 2016's Suicide Squad, will be approached about voicing the Batman villain, Know the Hollywood Reporter. The series will follow Harley Quinn, along with other heroes and villains from the DC Universe, including Poison Ivy, as she strikes out on her own in Gotham City after breaking up with the Joker. The show is the third announced for the DC streaming service, which will arrive sometime in 2018, and features season three of the animated series Young Justice, along with the live-action drama based on the Teen Titans title Titan. Roby is set to play Harley Quinn again in a sequel to Suicide Squad along with another film that is in develop that will focus on the relationship between Harley Quinn and the Joker played by Jerick Leto. Lena with Seb Meyers hosts and Saturday Night Live alum Seb Meyers has been tapped to MC the Golden Globe Awards honoring excellence in film and television. The HFPA president, Mitar Tanana, said in a statement Thursday, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association is excited to have Seth Meyers host the 75th Annual Golden Globe Awards. With his natural comedic wit and innate ability to charm audiences, Seth will help us carry on the celebratory tradition of recognizing the best in television and film at the party of the year. The ceremony is taking place on January 7th in Beverly Hills and will be aired on NBC. Nominations are to be announced December 11th. Previous Globe's hosts include Myers' fellow SNL veterans Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, and Jimmy Fallon. A big announcement will be made on Sunday's edition of Talking Dead. The announces program Twitter's account set Friday. The tweet reads, this is it. The crossover character will be revealed this Sunday on Talking Dead. Tune in on November 26 at 10 p.m., 9, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hashtag TWD, hashtag fear TWD. Talking Dead, which airs after The Walking Dead and its spin-off Fear the Walking Dead, is hosted by Chris Hardwick and featured various guests, frequent cast members, discussing the events of the most recent episode. Franchise creator Robert Kirkman announced at the New York Comic Con last month that a character from one of his zombie apocalypse dramas would appear on the other series. He did not say who it was or how he or she would fit into the story since the two shows take place on opposite sides of the, com- of the country a few years apart. 
And really, story, Carrie Payton posted on Twitter a holiday photo of himself and his Walking Dead co-stars, including Shiva the Tiger. Shiva died heroically while protecting Payton's character, King Ezekiel, from the zombies this season. Payton captioned Thursday's image. You'll all be glad to know that Shiva is fine and looking lovely in her favorite holiday bow. She later ate at Jim Gaffigan. Happy Thanksgiving. It is unclear if Shiva, who was a computer anime creation on the show, was photoshopped for the picture, or if the cast and actor comedian Gaffigan are posing with the stuffed tiger. Also featured in the photo are Walking Dead fan favorites Norman Reedus, Lenny James, Seth Gilliam, Alana Masterson, Tom Payne, Steve O, Pollyanna McIntosh, Xander Berkeley, and others. Mystery Science Theater 3000 will return on Netflix for a 12th season. MST3K uh, creator Joel Hutchinson and cast members Felicia Day and Jonah Ray made the renewal announcement in a YouTube video Thursday. Also co-starring Penn Oswalt, Rebecca Hansen, Hampton Yunt, and Baron Vaughn, the series features characters sitting in a theater making fun of old, low-budget movies. Season 11 of the revamped show debuted on Netflix last spring after Hutchinson and Shout Factory, the company that holds the rights to the cult classic series, completely a successful crowdfunding campaign to revive it, The Hollywood Reporter said. The original incarnation of the show aired on Comedy Central for seven seasons, ending in 1997. Sci-Fi Channel, now Sci-Fi, ran three more seasons before canceling it in 1999. Principal photography has begun in Ontario and Prince Edward Island for a season two of the family series Annie with an E. Inspired by the classic young adult novel Annie of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery, the show will return for 10 episodes on the CBC in Canada and globally on Netflix in 2018. It will star Amy, Amy Beth Nolte, Ger- Geraldine James, R.H. Thompson, Corrine Coslow, Dahlia Bella, Amira Jez Montaz, Lucas Zulman, and Kyla Matthews. Uh, creator and executive producer showrunner Maura Wally Beckett said in a statement, exploring modern topical issues in the world of this beloved character is a thrilling endeavor and I hope this season ignites, unites and inspires young people around the world. Uh, Sally Cattle, the general manager of programming at CBC, says Canada has fallen in love with Annie and all over again with this remarkable series full of beauty, humor, heartbreak, and the poignant portrayal of finding a place to belong. We can't wait for, to share season two with CBC audiences next year and showcase Annie's incredible talent and creative team to the entire world once again in partnership with Netflix. Celebrity couple Jennifer Lawrence and Darren Aronofsky have reportedly split after a year of dating. The 27-year-old actor and 48-year-old director recently called it quits after collaborating on the film Mother, according to People. E! News report Lawrence and Aronofsky broke up in October. The the pair still appeared together at the Governor's Awards in Los Angeles on November 11th. Source said it was amicable and they are still friends. Lawrence had discussed her romance with Aronofsky in an interview with the Hollywood Reporter Awards Chatter podcast release on Monday. The star of Mother says, I had a crush on him when he pitched it to me, and that was like a year before we started rehearsing, but he was a professional, which only made it worse for me. She added, we just kind of formed a friendship. He knew how I felt. He never told me how he felt. I mean, I'm assume. We just formed a friendship, and then the friendship turned into a partnership for the movie once we started working. And then once the movie was done, I was like, all right, you're my boyfriend. Lawrence has com- had confirmed her relationship with Aronofsky prior to the premiere of Mother in September. She had nothing but praise for the director at the event, telling people that she is, quote, a huge fan of all his work. Jenny Garth is taking time apart from her, her husband, actor, and restaurateur Dave Abrams. The 45-year-old actress rep confirmed Tuesday to Us Weekly that Garth is working through issues in her marriage to Abrams, who's 36. Garth and Abrams tied the knot at the star's Los Olivos, California home in July 2015. The couple have not legally separated nor filed any legal paperwork. Source said they're still trying to make it work, but they haven't been living together. They love each other, but like every marriage, it takes work. Jenny is taking the time to focus on her girls and herself. People also reported that Garf and Abrams um, are working to fix their issues but are not filing for divorce. An insider says they're going through a rocky patch. Garf shares three daughters, 20-year-old uh, Luca, 14-year-old Lola, and 11-year-old Fiona with ex-husband Peter Faccini, from, her, from whom she split in 2012. She shares a post on Instagram about resilience last week. She wrote, Resilience means the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. But it doesn't mean we never experience sadness. It proves we are able to spring back into shape after struggle has pushed us farther than we ever imagined we could go. 
Kendall Jenner has topped Forbes' annual list of highest paid models f- list for 2017 ahead of Giselle Bunchkin and Chrissy Teigen. Jenner is the first model to be ranked number one since 2002 as Bunchkin has been dominating the list for 15 years. The list released Tuesday has the Keeping Up with the Kardashians star earning $22 million due to her social media endorsement deals, the reality series, her clothing line which she shares with sister Kylie, and her deals with Adidas, Estelle Lauder, and La Perla, among others. Bunchkin comes in at second place with $17.5 million, a 43% dip from the $30.5 million the model earned in 2016. Bunchkin's income comes from posing for a Carolina Herrera fragrance, Arezio shoes, and Viviara jewelry in her native country of Brazil. Tegan made her debut on the list for the first time in her career, having earned $13.5 million due to her deals with Vita Coco and Smirnoff, among others. Models such as Gigi and Bella Hadid, Ashley Graham, and Carly Kloss also appeared on the top 10 list. Collectively, the world's 10 highest paid models took in $109.5 million between June 1, 2016 and June 1, 2017 before taxes and fees. Bahati Prinslow posted a cheeky photo of Tuesday of husband Adam Levine and their toddler daughter. The pregnant 28-year-old model captured a cute picture of Levine and 14-month-old uh, Dusty Rose Bear backside that she shared with her 5.2 million Instagram followers. The snapshot shows Levine holding Dusty's hand as he appears to lead her to a bubble bath. Prinslow covers her family's behinds with peach emojis. She captioned a photo of the same but different. Prinslow and Levine welcomed Dusty in September 2016 and announced in September that they're expecting their second child. Levine confirmed in an interview this month that Prinslow is pregnant with another daughter. The 38-year-old singer said on the Ellen DeGeneres show, It is a girl. He added a Prinslow. She's awesome. Uh, she's just like a champion of the world. She's killing it. You wouldn't know. She's almost seven months pregnant. Prinslow had showed off her baby bump ahead of the 2017 InStyle Awards in October. She posted a photo of herself wearing a form-fitting mini dress that highlighted her growing belly. Model row. Got myself out of my maternity jeans just to celebrate the very talented Ad Hung Vango. Love you. You deserve it all. Thanks at InStyle Magazine for a beautiful dinner. Nikki Bella recounted recently how she was nearly abducted when she was 15 years old by a man she described as being half naked. Bella discussed a harrowing tale while appearing on former WWE ring announcer Lillian Garcia's podcast, Chasing Glory. I told you a star says, I remember walking home one day from school and his car pulled up behind me really slow and gave me a really weird feeling. And all of a sudden it skirmed me and the man was half naked and tried to pull me into his car and saying crazy things to me. She said, it was terrifying. I remember like fighting, running to the nearest house, screaming, crying, like praying the person, the person was home because I didn't know I was being chased. Being a 15-year-old girl that year, I went through so much and it, was, and it broke me. Bella also described how she went into depression after a revealing image of herself was taken and passed around school. And it seemed the 34-year-old said left her destroyed and embarrassed and made her lock away her emotions. Bella says she still struggles with showing her emotions today, but that her fiancé, John Cena, is helping. Uh, Bella said, John has really brought that out in me, so I think it was like the first time people saw me give such goo-goo eyes or be so happy and giddy. He would start to break it. I have this giddiness with him, and I get lost in his big old arms, and I'm swept off my feet. I think my mom is kind of that way, too. We're just strong women. My mom's been through so much, so I think that's where I got it from. Bella and Cena famously became engaged in the middle of a WWE ring in April at WrestleMania 33. Garcia exited WWE in August 2016 after a 15-year stint with the company. She announced uh, WWE superstars as they entered the ring and sang the national anthem before every show. Comedians Will Ferrell, Molly Shannon are teaming up to host the 2018 Rose Parade, which will be aired live on Amazon streaming service Prime Video. The announcement was made Wednesday along a teaser trailer for the special live event that features the Saturday Night Live alums portraying broadcasting characters named Cord Hosenbeck and Tish Katnin. Farrell, who is seen with a bald head and a beard, becomes upset in the clip when a marching band plays a funny entrance song as opposed to the loud and fun one counting and receive. Um, the, the head of unscripted Amazon or, originals, Heather Schultzster, said in a statement, Cord and Tish are parade legends, beloved the world over, and it was such a coup for us to steal them away to Amazon Prime Video for their first ever live stream parade. 
She continues, we're excited to bring Prime members this unprecedented live event from these veteran parade commenters, commentators. Uh, the Rose Parade, which is known as the Tournament of Rose Parades, is a celebration held each year on New, Year, on New Year's Day in Pasadena, California. The live stream will begin at 8 p.m. Pacific Time on New Year's Day on Prime Video. Cindy Crawford and her teenage daughter look like twins in school photos the supermodel shared Tuesday on Instagram. The 51-year-old star posted side-by-side -side yearbook pictures of herself and her look-alike daughter, 16-year-old Kaya Gerber, whom she shares with husband Randy Gerber. She captioned the snapshots, school pics, now and then. The post received over 236,000 likes from Crawford's followers. Fans remarked on the model's resemblance to Gerber in the comments. One person wrote, wow, they, them are some strong Crawford jeans there, lovely gals. Another remark, wow, she's your mini-me, gorgeous. Gerber is a burgeoning model who signed with her first major contract with IM, IMG Models at the age of 13 in 2015. She has since walked the runway for Chanel, Versace, Marc Jacobs, and other major fashion houses. The teenager said in an interview with Teen Vogue published in August, my parents have always taught me to be myself and to follow my instincts. They also said that, that you should never let what other people do affect what you want to do. It changes everything when you accept who you are and don't try to change yourself. Crawford also shares 18-year-old son Presley with Gerber, whom she married in 1998. Mama 2 is known for her modeling and ad work with Calvin Klein, Revlon, and Pepsi. Paris Hilton hosted a lavish tea party for her sister Nikki Hilton's baby shower. Nikki, 34, celebrated with Paris, 36, mom Kathy Hilton, and other family and friends Tuesday after announcing she's pregnant and expecting her second child with husband James Rothschild. Nikki and Paris wore coordinating outfits with the expected mom in a blue, pink, and green pattern mini dress and Paris in a pink dress and cardigan. Nikki posted several photos from the Fiat on Twitter. She captioned the pictures. Thank you at Paris Hilton for throwing the sweetest tea for the mama to be. Paris also shared snapshots from the bash including a group photo with Nikki, Kathy, and Real Housewives stars Bethany Frankel and Kylie Richards and other guests. She wrote, celebrating the new baby with the hashtag squad, hashtag Nikki's baby shower. Nikki already shares 16-month-old daughter Lily Grace with Ross Chow, whom she married in 2015. The star's rep confirmed to Us Weekly in July that Nikki and Ross Chow are expecting another child. The rep said the couple are thrilled about the new addition to their family. Frozen icon Kristen Bell has signed on to host a one-hour musical special for ABC called Encore. Saturday, December 10th, the program will follow Bell as she reunites the cast of a high school production of Into the Woods and have them reprise their roles 20 years later under the tutelage of Broadway directors, choreographers, and voice coaches, the network says. Bell said in a statement, My first high school musical was a watershed moment, changing the way I experienced the world from thereafter, and I often think, would it be nice to relive that? Uh, she also added, I wanted to produce Encore to help um, others re-experience their days on stage and rediscover the distinct bonding that comes with the high school theater. Our, school, our show is about converging past dreams with present circumstances, and I hope viewers can laugh and see themselves among the insurance salesman, the pregnant woman, and the rest of the classmates as they tackle Stephen Sondheim. Pretty Woman, the musical, is to begin preview performances on Broadway July 20th at the Neand uh, Nether Nander Theater, producers announced. The show stars Samantha Barks as Vivian, Steve Cowsey as Edward, Orphanet Act Kit, uh, Eric Anderson as Mr. Thompson, Jason Denaley as Philip Stuckley, and Kingsley Legs as James Morris. An official uh, opening night is planned for August 16th. The production features original music and lyrics by Brian Adams and his longtime songwriting partner Jim Valens, and a script by Gary Marshall and the film screenwriter J.F. Lawton. Marshall, who directed the 1990 romantic comedy on which the musical is based, helped write the stage production before he died in 2016. The musical is being directed and choreographed by Jerry Mitchell. It will have its world premiere at Broadway on Chicago's Oriental Theater beginning March 13th. Singer Glee alum Naya Rivera was released early Sunday on a $1,000 bond after a weekend arrest for alleged domestic battery in West Virginia. Uh, WSAZ News Channel 3 reported Rivera was arrested at a home in the Chesapeake 
uh, area of Kanoa County Saturday night. Sheriff's depart- deputies were reported, uh, reportedly called to the house where Rivera's husband, Ryan Dorsey, complained she struck him in the head and the bottom lip while they were taking their son Josie for a walk down the street. Rivera was charged with domestic battery and her father-in-law picked her up from the courthouse after she posted bail. The entertainer had filed divorce from Dorsey in November 2016 but asked the dismissal of the legal papers last month, evening set couple married in 2014. Actor and comedian Kevin Hart shared on social media Sunday the first photos of his newborn son Kenzo. He captioned a black and white image of his infant son whose eyes were wide open. You are a little miracle, are a ba- beautiful baby boy. We pray you'll feel safe and loved, surrounded by our joy, for we are blessed to hold you close and feel your heart your beating heart the little life we hope for how wonderful you are we raise our hearts with praise and thank for you our little gift may god's peace surround you as you wake and as you sleep hashtag hearts and may you grow to live and love and play your little part in this world may you shine light and never be put out hashtag hearts another post showed heart holding and kissing his newborn who is wrapped in a blanket uh, he wrote feeling blessed uh, beyond blessed on this beautiful sunday morning morning vibes with my little man hashtag hearts hashtag baby zo hashtag live love laugh wife it gets the amazing photo credit hard and and and, and nico parish uh, his wife since august 2016 welcome baby kenzo on november 21st hard also has a 12 year old daughter heaven and 10 year old son hendrix with his ex-wife tori hart hart will soon be seen in jumanji welcome to the jungle Singer and Dancing with the Stars alum Nick Lachey is asking people to donate money to help a bartender who was shot after working a shift at his Ohio sports bar. Lachey tweeted Sunday, uh, along with the link to a You Caring funding, uh, fundraising page, please help Ellie and her family get through this most difficult time. Thank you. Uh, the page says Ellie sustained injuries to her face and jaw resulting from a shooting that occurred early on Thanksgiving morning. She's in stable condition, but it's unclear how long she'll be in the hospital and what her recovery process will entail. Funds for, the, for this campaign will go towards her medical expenses and help support her and her family until she's back on her feet. And the amount is sincerely appreciated, Ted, and we want this to reach as many people as possible, so please feel free to share. Nearly $23,000 have been raised thus far. Cincinnati police are investigating the shooting. Richardson, 27, and the driver of a van reportedly got into a verbal altercation after she was nearly run over while leaving the bar following her shift at about 3 a.m. Thursday, Fox 19 reported. Comedian Jay Leno and the Washington Nationals' outfielder Bryce Harper have joined the lineup for Friday's Vegas Strong Benefit concert. Uh, the Harper said in a statement, I was born and raised in Las Vegas, and my pride for this great city runs deep. In the wake of this terrible event, the world has seen what I've always known to be true, how strong our city is, and what a tight-knit, supportive community we have. I'm proud to be a part of the Las Vegas Strong Benefit to support and honor those impacted by this tragedy and the city I love. The show at the T-Mobile Arena is intended to be an evening of entertainment and support for the victims of the October 1st mass shooting, the deadliest in U.S. history, which happened at the city's Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival. 58 people died and hundreds were injured in the attack. Also expected to take the stage at the Vegas Strong event are Boys to Men, Circus Soleil, David Copperfield, Imagine Dragons, Pen and Teller, and The Killers. Gwen Stefani wrote on Instagram she had the best Thanksgiving with her fellow music star and longtime beau, Blake Shelton. The singer's message accompanied a photo of her smiling while Shelton kissed her cheek. They're standing next to another couple doing likewise. She captioned another group photo, family, hashtag so grateful, GX, happy Thanksgiving. The couple have been together for about two years, spend the holiday in Oklahoma, E! News said. Stefani's three sons with her ex-husband rocker Gavin Rosendale were also there to celebrate. Music superstar Mariah Carey says she's on the mend, but still not ready to begin her Christmas concert tour. Carey tweeted Friday, Doctors have ordered a few extra days of rest before I can finally fly to New York and take the stage for my Christmas tour. While this news disappoints me to share, I'm grateful to be on the mend and for the support from all of you. It means the world to me. See you from the stage soon, darlings. Carrie announced earlier this month that she was forced to scrap several planned shows because she had an upper respiratory infection following the flu. 
flu. People Magazine said Carrie had been on schedule to kick off her tour in Ontario November 17th, but is now expected to begin the string of shows in New York December 2nd. The South Korean boy band BTS is setting records again, this time setting the mark for the most retweeted music group. The K-pop stars earned a spot on in the 2018 Guinness World Records book Monday following their performance at the 2017 American Music Awards. The Guinness World Records official Twitter confirmed BTS has the world's most Twitter engagements for a music group. The company congratulated the boy band alongside a clip of their performance of DNA. Guinness wrote, congrats to at BTS on, uh, on a stellar performance at last night's at AMAs. Hashtag DYK. The South Korean boy band has succeeded in earning a spot in this year's hashtag GWR 2018 edition for having the world's most hashtag at Twitter engagements for a music group. Hashtag BTS times AMAs. Good Morning America reported there were around 20 million tweets about BTS's performance at the AMAs on Sunday. The group reached an average of 254,609 retweets per post after the award show, beating Harry Styles' previous record of 180,607, according to the Korean Herald. BTS has broken several records since the release of the album Love Yourself Her in September, including becoming the first South Korean act to reach 10 million Twitter followers. And finally, Coco, an anime and movie featuring the voice talents of Gael Garcia Bernal and Benjamin Brad, is number one in North America this week, earning $49 million in receipts. Boxofficemojo.com announced Sunday. Coming in at number two is the Justice League with $40.7 million, followed by Wonder in number three with $22.3 million, Thor Ragnarok at number four with $16.8 million, and Daddy's Home 2 at number five with $13.3 million. Running up the top tier are Murder on the Orient Express, at number six with thirteen million dollars, the star at number seven with six point nine million dollars, a bad mom's Christmas at number eight with five million dollars, Roman J Israel Esquire at number nine with four point five million dollars, and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, at number ten with four point four million dollars. And that's your entertainment report for Monday, November 27, 2017. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Answer Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for The Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.